The next thing that we'd like to talk to you about is how to handle the integration of a dog in your home if you have small children. So the biggest thing to do is to talk to your children ahead of time and make sure that they understand that there need to be boundaries with the dog. Make sure that they understand that there are certain areas of the dog that can be touched and cannot be touched. Make sure that they understand that by no means should the child ever be around the dog when it is eating. It should also not be taking any toys or treats away from the dog or out of the dog's mouth. The biggest thing that we ask you to do is to have your child supervised 24-7 when you have your new dog. That means even if you have to move into another room, that either the dog comes with you or the child comes with you. And time and time again, we have heard of issues where all of a sudden the child and the dog do not get along, but the problem almost always is that no one saw what happened. So please, we ask you and we require of you to supervise your children and your dog all of the time. Um, also in regards to the crate, of course this kind of can look like a fun playhouse for a child. Please instill in your child before the dog comes into your home that this is not a playpen for the child. This is the dog's space. The child should never be in it. And if the dog is in it either by your request or of the dog's choosing, that that is a time that the dog should be left alone. Most dogs, once properly crate trained, will find this as a safe haven and they may voluntarily go into the crate. Just because the door is open does not mean that that's time for the child to go and visit the dog in the crate. So please talk to your children as well before we get to your home so that we can set everyone up for success.